Let's look at the MIDI file to text utility. This comes originally packaged as a zip file. And these are two console applications. And you need to run these within a console window or, or DOS window, if you will. What I like to do is make sure that these are somewhere in the uh, file path. And I guess the quick way to do this would be to simply grab those two executables, drag them into your Windows folder, and then they're automatically in your path. I've already done that, so I'm not actually going to do the uh, operation again. But that way, they always are ready whenever you open your console window. I couldn't quite see it, but I hit my start and typed in uh, CMD for the application to run. If you haven't used this before, it's, it's really not too bad. You do CD for change directory. And uh, on Windows, that would be backslashes to separate the folders. DIR to get a directory listing. And I've got this file called updown.mid sitting in that file folder. Now again, MIDI files are binary format, so they don't really look like anything if you try to type them or edit them with a text editor. However, if we run the MIDI file to text conversion utility, we say MIDI file to text on the MIDI file and then provide the name of the file for the text version. Okay, there's all sorts of text that we can see. And we see timestamps on the left. We see the uh, event type showing up next. So we see lots of note on and note off activity. Channel number, note number, velocities are showing up. So it's a, a nice human readable sort of format. I happen to be using the um, VIM or VIM. That's uh, VI improved as my text editor. The idea here is once you have it in the text editor, you can change things, you can look, look, look for things uh, just to confirm what's actually in the file. When you're all done, if you would have saved that away to some different file, then you can convert it back uh, to a standard MIDI file so that way you can play it with your sound application. So to kind of emulate the idea of changing this file into something else, I will copy it to something called downup.txt and then the companion application would be text to MIDI file. It's kind of like what you'd expect. You, you specify your text file, specify your MIDI file, and you're set. So there's our new MIDI file that's been created. Now to get a better idea of what or how to go about interpreting the various messages inside uh, that file, I'm going to take a look at the readme.txt file. I'll just bear with me for a second. There we go. Uh, the readme file provides full documentation for these utilities. So you can see some command line options. There's the list that shows the way the events are rendered as text. And so on. So I'd encourage you to take a look at the details of that. But again, if you, especially if you refer to that, you'll know how to add your own MIDI messages and events. 